Hello, my name is Mitin Adabashir. This is 322nd part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas. Wrong model of electron shells. This is wrong. Lithium. And wrong explanation of characteristic X-rays. The photon that removes the innermost electron leaves no electrons behind to fill that gap. 1. Forget these six accepted physics propositions for electrons in a multi-electron atom. A. Electrons are dimensionless point particles. B. Electrons are identical particles in a multi-electron atom. C. Electrons are moving particles located probabilistically around the atomic nucleus. D. Electrons are objects with a constant rest mass. D. As the distance from the nucleus increases, Electrons' energy levels increase, E. As the distance from the nucleus increases, electrons gain more energy, F. As the number of shells, each electron shell can take more electrons. All of these propositions are wrong. Two. Each shell represents only a specific proton-bound electron motion form with a specific wavelength. And in a multi-electron atom, each ionization energy represents only one and specific electron. For instance, this is my lithium atom model. Smallest electron, ionization energy 196.19, 10 to the minus 19 joules, and corresponding wavelength is smallest electron motion form, proton bound electron motion form, wavelength is 10.12 nanometer. For second electron, second ionization energy is 121.1, 121.18, 10 to the minus 19 joules, and corresponding wavelength is 16.3 nanometer. And as increasing number of shell, not shell, electron, energy drops. Ionization energy is 8.3. 63 10 to the minus 19 joules corresponding wavelength is 330.03 nanometer. Here, molybdenum atom, according to me, 42 intertwined electron motion forms, each one has different ionization energy and different wavelength. Yes, yes, yes. Each shell represents only a specific proton-bound electron motion form. An electron doesn't revolve. An electron doesn't revolve around an atomic nucleus. Here, smallest part connected proton chain, and this is third proton, second proton, first proton for lithium. Per proton, only one electron motion form. Yes, the electron is a three dimensional sp spherical. 
ring-shaped intrinsic motion form structure that surrounds that surrounds the nucleus but cycling surface cycling ring-shaped cycling okay and whether greater or smaller specific wavelength all proton bound electron motion forms tangential velocity of any every point is 6.28 times greater than the speed of light this is these are motion forms not an object not a static object intrinsic motion forms of meta sensation perception matter this motion form is perpetually cycling, it is not static. 3. The bond between nucleus and the electron is concentric and coaxial angular motion. In the normal conditions, the tangential speed of this movement is constant regardless of the radius or wavelength of the proton bound electron is 6.28 times greater than the speed of light 4. You cannot remove the smallest and last remaining electron from the atom without removing all the other larger electrons if you shine if you shine not a single photon there is no single photon a photon is every independent every inseparable point on electron motion form and its consecutive waves okay so as the wave spherical wave come in and when co inside all of these if this shined consecutive waves to the lithium atom, for instance, wavelength smaller than smallest wavelength of lithium, all of these electrons in order, first this one, second this one, and Lastly, smallest one will be ionized. Okay, you cannot ionize smallest electron without ionizing these greater electrons. Okay, so according to ex accepted physics theories, when you shine energetic x-rays, small wavelength, directly you remove innermost electron, then they say outer electrons, this is K shell, outer electrons will drop to innermost electrons vacancy. Then they will make key alpha lines, key beta lines, etc. This is wrong because if smallest electron removed spontaneously at first greater and greater electrons removed, there will be no remaining electrons. Characteristics actually production in a multi-electron by the effect of X-rays, energetic X-rays, model is wrong. Yes. The bond between nucleus and the electron is concentric and coaxial angular motion. I'm so sorry. Four, you cannot remove the smallest and last remaining electron from the atom without removing all the other larger electrons. If you remove the last electron, you turn the remaining characteristic light pulse source into a sequential wave source. In other words, you make it free. Yes, only proton-bound electron motion forms can make 
single wave pulses characteristic emissions and free electrons produce and propagate consecutive waves as I told you before according to me. Yes, here. Okay. Okay. Now, when you apply, this is molybdenum atom. Here, smallest electron motion form. Here, largest and second largest electron motion form and through the center totally 45 intertwined electron motion forms and each one has connected with only one proton. Yes, here. Okay. When you apply 7.09 electron volt and 16.16 electron volt that are ionization energies of largest two electrons, according to me, you liberate the first two electrons. Now, from now on, these two electrons are free, but these electrons not uh, gained, they don't gain, they didn't gain high velocity. Almost stable and stable electron, stable electron at rest, approximately at rest, electron motion form, free electron motion form, produce and propagate each side, each point, each direction, same wavelength. Consecutive waves, its point wavelength, point velocity, now is not directional, okay, isotropic, so these consecutive waves affect all electron motion forms, proton bound electron motion forms in molybdenum atom and normally they produce single wave pulses, single wave pulses according to my theory. wave number, effective wave number squared multiplied by electron 40 second electron molybdenum 40 first electron okay and their spectral lines occur in order, as I told you before. Okay. Yes. When you apply 7.09 EV and 16.16 EV to molybdenum, you liberate the first two electrons. Since you apply relatively low voltage, two free electrons do not gain excessive speed. Speed, therefore, angular momentum for each point in each direction. Angular momentum, remember, according to me, is nothing but Planck's constant. Therefore, angular momentum, wavelength and wave speed changes depending on free electron speeds and directions can be neglected. Because, according to my theory, when an electron motion form, free electron motion form, is in motion, each point on this electron motion form and its consecutive waves will have different point wavelength, point wave velocity, point angular momentum or Planck's constant, and point tangential velocity. 
etc. Point energy. Okay. Thus, consecutive waves of these two free electrons will carry almost the same values in every direction and at every point. They can influence the smallest electron of molybdenum and the others to form smooth isotropic spectral lines. But when you apply 20,000 volt to accelerate electrons for X-ray production to shine on molybdenum, except molybdenum, you will have removed, removed all the electrons in the molybdenum except the smallest one because uh, uh, the smallest electron motion forms wavelength is 0 0.0517 nanometer I have computed according to my formula and in literature I didn't meet any result ionization energy 40 second ionization energy of molybdenum but I have prediction formula highest ionization energy formula in an atom that I put forth this is electron or proton number square and Ionization energy, 40 second ionization energy of molybdenum is 38,435.79 joules or 23,989.83 electron volt. Then this smallest Electron motion forms wavelength. I have computed 0 0.0517 nanometer small electrons wavelength in molybdenum. Now, this means minimum energy to remove car shell electron, smallest electron from molybdenum is. 23,989.8 electron volt, not 20,000 electron volt. In accepted physics, this is their wheel. And this means K shell electrons binding energy is 29,989.8. A3 electron volt, not 20,000 EV or volt. Okay. These are wrong. These two 20,000 EV, 20,000 EV binding energy of K shell electron of molybdenum and 